the BBMP, they still struggle to deal with the mounting garbage in this city. A dangerous amount of toxic waste dumped in landfills across the world. We produce garbage every day, but we rarely think about where it's going. This is a problem that we won't be able to ignore much longer. Forward-thinking cities like Seattle are making an effort to reduce garbage production by providing more recycling and compost services. But there's a lot to remember. Many people don't know how to sort their garbage. Or they just don't have the time. This can be a major problem for businesses who are fined by the city if too many recyclable and compostable materials are found in their landfill bins. That's what inspired us to design the Recyclabot. Recyclabot takes the inconvenience out of garbage sorting while increasing the accuracy of items being recycled, composted, or landfilled. This leaves tables clean, customers happy, and the environment safer. Hi, I'm Hunter Schaefer and I'm the manager of the Recyclebot team. When we were designing Recyclebot, we wanted to make sure it was easy and efficient to use as possible. Recyclebot can be sent to collect and sort garbage from a table with only the push of a button. Once full, the bags in the Kanga pack can easily be replaced by an employee. To ensure accuracy, Recyclebot records all the items it sorts so it can learn to improve its sorting or recognize new items it's never seen before. Oh, hello there. My name is John Kaltenbach, and I'm in charge of the back end for the user interface and the database that allows the robot to remember how to sort garbage. The database only allows the robot to use customer confirmed sorting labels to decide whether an object should go into recycle, compost, or landfill bins. Hi, I'm Varun Mahadevan, and I engineer Recyclebot's perception module. When Recyclebot encounters a new object, we use state-of-the-art machine learning and big data to determine what it's looking at and how it should be disposed of. Hi, I'm Ariel Lin. I'm in charge of Recyclebot's motion planning. Obstacle avoidance is incredibly important in a restaurant-like setting where people, chairs, or any number of other things might block the robot's path. It's also important in moving the arm so that we can efficiently gather garbage without collisions. I'm Katherine Howland, and I'm in charge of fabrication, documentation, and communication. That means that in addition to working on things like blog posts and this video to update people like you about our progress, I work on design and fabrication of features like the Kanga Pack to increase the efficiency of the Recyclebot's tasks. I think it would be cool to have a robot that would tell me what type of plastic I could recycle, because um, I don't really know if it's like dirty, can I recycle it? If it's like a cellophane wrapper, can I recycle it? And so, I think that would be a really cool uh, use for the robot. Recycling is really good for the environment, and I really do care about like the well-being of our Earth. So it'd be awesome if like you know like AI, like Earth computers, just like did it for me. Get your Recyclebot today and help contribute to a cleaner tomorrow.